did I just did I just do that with a switch? Hell yeah, I did. Fostex HP A4 balance. Now, if we go and we lower this, there is the non-balanced version for four hundred dollars. So it's the HP A4, and that's it. And then if we switch and we look at the balanced version, which is the HP A4 BL, it's four hundred dollars. And I don't know why. And I there's only a few left in stock in both cases. Uh, two here and three here. So, patrons, this is where you come in because you're going to see this video a week and a half before everyone else. And when I tell you what this thing is and how it does business, you're going to have the option to buy it before everybody else. You, you lame puppies. By the way, all cables today were provided by, uh, actually, except for the one that I'm going to use with this, were, these are all Periapt cables. Because I am their beta tester, and if I say this is too heavy, they'll listen to me. So, yeah. Do you remember? I mean, uh, let me let me pause this. Because I should have stopped it, because that's going to error now. There it is. We're going to plug this. Rest over here, snake cable. We're going to unplug these without making pop noises and ignore the fact that the DBX go racks in line unplug this and unplug the power here's the power by the way 12 volt one and a half amp so made in Japan that's that's number one with Zeos and giving him an erection is made in Japan is a Japanese characters and I'm I'm a weeb to a point but I'm not like oh I, okataku, I want to learn the language I don't give a fuck all right, their food was amazing. I went visit. Food is amazing. Anime girls are way hotter than real life Japanese girls most of the time. And uh, when you look at something they've built, like if it's made in Japan, you can tell. There's just a way that the gapping works and the materials and how it's finished and the screws are just so much better. And I don't even know what these rubber feet are. They feel like sliced silicone. It's ah. Uh, so we look at the the sides have which could be cleaned like aluminum just just the finest like watch making aluminum the top is a matte steel the front is like i have to get like i've been doing this the entire time i've had this because it's it's all like shiny glass <sighs> get some nice moisture in that and you can just you could just buff it buff it to a mirror finish Front of the unit, balanced headphone out, unbalanced headphone out, which is quarter inch. Your input select, USB or optical. We're coming back to that fr that thing where soon this USB cable will not be used in my reviews. I'm tired of juggling drivers. Yes, you need to install drivers because it's DSD 32 bit and I don't care about DSD because if everything on earth is unavailable and I don't care, and even if people hear a sound difference, you gotta now take that DSD file, down convert it as losslessly as you can to another lossless format that is readily available, like FLAC, and then tell me it still sound tell tell me it sounds like shit. Because I'm not, I'm not buying the whole DSD life, which I'm sure ha is a tattoo someone's got on their arm or inner thigh, or they've got the tram stamp that just says DSD or DXD life. So Optical USB selection filters one and two and there is a slight difference in the filters and I'll describe them while I'm listening High low gain switch which by the way you noticing how small everything is like like, like just, just It's chibi. This is a chibi amp if this was anybody else other than Fosex these buttons would be thumb sized But it's very very small and delicate and precise so you get optical USB filters one and two gain high low and then phones or RCA, and that was the thing that made me fall in love with the Fostex HB A3. Because it was the only DAC amp at the time where you could leave your headphones plugged in and then choose to swap to the RCA outputs. So it's the same with this. The volume knob, by the way, is the power. So you click it off, click it on, and then you set your volume. The indicator is not the best. I have to bitch about indicators because I have to bitch about them to bitch about them when I have to draw them on with markers and stickers 
that, see, that's fine. I can tell exactly where that volume is because it's a big knot. They've done their job. Even the stacks has a white dot on a thing, not just a. And wh what is it? Where's the volume? Where's the volume? If you look at the side, there's a notch, but it's a black notch, which actually has dirt in it. There's my screwdriver. Hold on, I've got to, uh, I've got to go into OCD Zeos mode. There we go. Get that. Whatever crust crud was in there from fingers probably over the years. So now that it's clean, I definitely can't see it. So it's 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 got a terrible indicator, and that's another thing that's K back of it. RSA outputs. Now I love this fact, and it's only available. The stacks do it, and this does it. So it's got to be a Japanese thing, where they don't color code the left and right outputs. It says left and it says right, L and R, but this isn't a red connector and this isn't a white connector and everything else that's RCA in the entire world is that. But this is like old, like old shit from the 70s didn't color code and you had to like look and these you do, you have to look again. Digital in and digital out. So honestly, I'm, I did not test this so I'm not sure if this digital out will also come from the USB if you're power if you are feeding signal for USB will this digital out work possibly look it up everyone that's a challenge whoever owns one of these if you've ever done that that would be useful for using this as a USB DAC and then fiber opting out across the room to a another DAC that's on like a stereo system if you're not using this which this is only pre outs so I it's gonna be harder for you to do it's not gonna be harder it's just more annoying for me and my OCD for you to use this with like a passive set of speakers I'm currently using with the Mackies here the 624s I think these are and I haven't had to look up that name in a while so we'll assume that's what they are there so there's your USB there's a micro SD card slot don't think you're ever gonna use that that is simply for updating the firmware on this I've looked into it and it says, yeah, but what does it do? And no, it doesn't do anything you can control. You can't put music on there. Auto standby mode, off and on. And that's pretty, you know, can you understand that? If it's on and you're not playing source, it'll eventually sleep the unit. If you shut it off, the unit will stay on forever. So off is always on and on is sometimes off. Good? Good. I'm glad we all straightened that out. And here's your plug. And there it says made in Japan. And oh, the squareness and the sh like shit has the same like quality like like things are just ooh square edges and and thing this is made in america and where the edges end are sort of like like that's good enough there's just good enough stuff when you pick up something that's like japanese and good enough it's like oh shit okay back to the unit now we're going to plug this in and have to read and i'm going to have Probably a Behringer UCA202, which I will install so that I can use everything off fiber optic. Because I could review this thing off fiber optic, I could review this thing off fiber optic, I could review the Oregon off fiber Everything is going to go to fiber optic because guess what? No drivers, it's just going to work. You'll be limited to 24 bit and 192, but who cares? I have this set up, by the way, right now at 32 bit in FUBAR. So, ooh, now let me make sure I'm set to USB. Uh, and it only shows you on the left that out is the top rung. So I'm on low gain, I'm on the first filter, and I'm on phones. It's not an easy read. You have to learn this thing. Oh, by the way, this is the silver USB cable it came with. So a little bit flash. A little bit flash, but I like a little bit flash. So let's go and plug in that. It's flashing. Oh, the power. I forgot about the LEDs. So yeah, it'll show power, and it should show... Yeah, now it's solid. 441. I'm my my flat collection is 441 mostly. I have a couple 24-bit samples where boom, 96. I don't think I have I maybe have one like 176.4 or 192. I think what's it called in the pawn shop? Yeah, you go. Jazz in the pawn shop is some weird. Yep, it's 882. So there you go in case you need to know that cuz you definitely need to know that. And it would obviously light up DSD if it was DSD, and you can go up to 11.2M, which I'm assuming is millions of dollars spent in advertising DSD as the greatest thing since sliced bread, because they're running out of shit to sell at audio shows. So let's let's move on. It's sort of like the 3D thing. It's not 4K. 4K I respect. 
I could see it. I could walk up to it. There's 4K. You get real close to it and you can understand. Like, Red Book Wave to DSD is like, do you see? And I'm like, no. I don't know. Everything's been pretty fucking expensive and sounding great before DSD and it still does now. So. Fuck. Is what I'm going to say. I'm going to start with fuck. Because when I got this unit, and it was loaned to me by someone who thank you, and if you want to loan me anything, the best way to do that is to join the Patreon so that I know you're a human being with an actual credit card and not a scam artist, but contacted me and sent it to me. And I set it up on my laptop here. This is my, my like, go-to laptop. This computer is Windows 7, and it's got so much stuff USB'd into it. All these things have to work all the time. So I don't like having to install drivers. It's another reason I want to get away from drivers. Because if I install it, it might break. All of a sudden, the own will stop working. And it's like, well, I need the own because it powers that and that. And I have to fucking uninstall everything, and reinstall everything in a certain order. And it's like a goddamn Tomb Raider puzzle. So I got this unit, put my laptop in my living room, have an extension cord, plug this in, sat on my couch with these. And I have my, my balance wire at that point. And... I don't remember enjoying sitting on my couch listening to headphones that much ever. And I was out there with the, the Woo Audio uh, $2,000 tube amp and stacks and something about the way this sounds, and I'm hearing it right this moment, Arnie Dominus, D-O-M-N-E-U-E-D-O-M-N-E-R-U-S. Jazz at the Pawn Shop is just playing through my uh, 600s. And there's a... I'm going to try to describe what I was hearing in this and, and these. There's a softness to this that I wish tube amps could just deliver without having all the tubey bullshit surrounding it with warm-up times and imbalances. I love this thing. Now this, this showed up, and this is gonna get a full review, but this will be gone by that time, because this needs more listening, and this is done. And I'm gonna, and this isn't balanced, and this is, and it, balanced is, is sort of a thing that we could also bring up a little bit and talk about, because I'll describe what balance does. When you have a normal headphone like this, here's normal headphone plug. This fat bit, that's the ground for the left and the right. Then this is right, and this is left, positives. So it's sharing the ground, which should be fine. Everything on Earth says it should be fine. What a balance does, where's my cable, is it get, instead of giving you three connections, it gives you four connections. It gives you left and right positives, and then a ground for the left and a ground for the right. And that means that all the circuitry and everything separated fully, because you have to, if you share the grounds, you're sharing other things. And there's a power difference where the, the uh, balance can actually output more power. And then some people are talking about the noise floor comes up when you do that. But I mean, I'm listening. Fuck you. I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know. I, I'm at a loss for words of why this sounds so good. It's $400. This or a Jotunheim, this. Heartbeat. And its power levels are good. We're going to plug in... Oh, well, I could actually plug in that if I really felt like testing the power power levels. But we're going to stick with balance for now. And... I'm listening to some very audiophile stuff. Pearl Jam. Let's go back to the how it... How it well, I think it sounds different. Certainly different from this. Even though this is the R2R and it is the softer version. I didn't want to bring that up. It's just sort of sitting here. Mega means laying on it. It's fine. But I I look at this and I listen to it. And I wish that that was this at this moment. That thing's still great. We're going to get to that and how great it is. But I wish, I wish, I wish everything was this. I don't own any Fostex like hardware and I regret that. When I got the A3 to review, I was like, oh my god, the button. I was obsessed with the button to switch. 
I want to hear the headphones. I want to hear speakers. I want to hear headphones. I want to hear speakers. Look, I don't have to unplug anything, Ma. Give this fucking company a Nobel Prize for that. Alright. Back to headphones. Switching the, switching the filter. Let's talk about the filters. Because I like the girls, I like the filters, but I digress. Leningrad? That's not a bad song to do this. Okay, I'm going to put this on. I'm, I'm on low gain with my 600s. So let's pop it to high gain. So pushing it in, which is filter two, it sounds like it's bringing it closer a bit. I don't know if it's bumping the mid-range. Well, I don't know what it's doing. It's personal preference. When I change these headphones or those headphones or those headphones or these headphones, which filter you prefer, it is at least a difference. There is some subtle 1% difference, but it's there. So it's not a wasted button. It's not like, like I have filters, filters on the X1S that I usually leave it on the fast roll off, whatever the default is. There's filters hidden on all sorts of devices and I don't care about most of them. This is a nice one because you just pop it in, pop it out. I want, I want to hear this now. I want to change this track. Prodigy? No. Is Billy Joel paying for this to happen like all the time? Come on. Oh god, I hate touch. Oh, give me a mouse. Oh yeah, there's definitely something happening with filter two. Let's leave on filter two. So high gain, these things. Do you see how awesome that is? Uh, these w could just be going straight to speakers. So now that's outputting. So I'm actually, it's actually safe to unplug because there's a whole big thing about, is it safe to unplug? Because when you unplug this, it'll ground out. So once you're set to the speaker outputs, these should all be safe. So let's switch now to these. Lay down my me. Uh, I'm not gonna start singing because that's how I'm guaranteed dislikes in the in this video. I'm right about so somehow powering the 600s. I was doing it on low gain with these, but on a high gain, ooh, a little bit sharp is it up? More of power, more power for these the better. Now these, which are not incredibly hard to drive, but through the unbalanced. I'm nearly maxing out this unit. So, the only way I could test that out is by either switching this to the unbalance and see if it can, see if what the, is that the, uh, uh, yes it is. Come here. Come on, you prick. There we go. So now what I'm going to do, since I've just done that little test, because it's like halfway and it's like, this isn't loud enough. Because when I was testing these on the couch, I was testing them with the balance. So hold on. Now I'm going to, and I have the volume all the way down, I'm going to do this. And then figure out how I screwed up that wiring. And then do this. So now I've removed the benefits of balance. And I'm going to see what this does. Yeah. If you're real good, you could do this. Oh, I have to unplug that. Oh, it's definitely a volume increase. All right, so the balance out on this is definitely more powerful than the unbalanced, than the single-ended. So... Fuck. Let me get that hole in. Wait for it. See, but that just did a thing. So you got to be careful when you put up your headphones. Because again, the, how loud you have the headphones set, and you pop it out, and then the speakers are at that volume. So it's usually okay. Just be mindful of that as a thing when you're switching. I have so many things that I've talked about and recommended in the X7S and then this 
and there's the audio gods and this and that and this and this is like one of my favorite fucking sounding things and I don't usually bite into that whole well I I'm of the school that unless there's a major difference like you go from solid state to tube don't bother so since this is solid state and that is solid state, and that is solid state, and this thing here, little micro origin G2 is solid state, then it should all be good and you spend whatever. But I legitimately think this sounds just fucking, to me, the softness, it, ad it adds softness without removing detail, which doesn't make any sense. It's like, look at this picture, and let's blur this picture out, but yet it's sharper. What? It's one of those headphones. It's a headphone that, it's one of those headphone amps. Or one of those audio products. We'll just label it as an audio product that just... I enjoy listening to this more than I enjoy listening to some things on other things. Gotta use this balanced out for me. At least for me, I think the balanced out on this is just the way to go. Like, hey, here's the adapter. Here's to prove, prove that point. Plug this, unplug this, plug this. It doesn't sound like shit, but there's something I want out of that, out of the four pole. I, I knew when I started this review that I wasn't ready, and I, I've been, I had this unit for weeks, and I just want to be ready to talk about it. I want to have my thoughts finalized, and I, I can't finalize my thoughts on it. Because it keeps impressing me and surprising me and well, what is this? And the filter actually does something and this, whoa, the high gain, I can do that. That is some very old country. That is, that is some country. I love also that there's no volume discrepancy because it's definitely not a digital knob, but you don't hear any creep. You don't hear it go like when you come up from the bottom. Japanese precision. I've done a couple German amps. Did I do it? The Lake People was German, right? And that was, was German precision. And this, I, Fostex is Japanese precision. Even the stack stuff isn't as nicely built as far as, well, Stacks are built like shit, but they sound like God. So, Fostex is built like God. And they sound pretty fucking close to that, too. At least depending on what you're plugging into it. So, um... This is a very yes unit. But look how Look, I've touched it for 22 seconds. And... Oh. And look how dirty it is from just like, oh, uh, every time I touch it. So this is one of those things that you have to set and never touch again or keep a goddamn towel around to wipe off all the fingerprints. I, I'm not eating a bologna sandwich and touching this. I'm just touching it. Still so fucking worth it. Uh, links to this in the description. If you're a patron and you're seeing this weeks before the public, now is your chance to grab this before they disappear. Because you kind of want to buy an Amazon, because if something goes wrong, you just say, hey, Amazon, and then they fix it. Where if you have to buy it on eBay, or if you got to buy it direct, you really want to call Fostex.com, say, hey, my thing, and then, oh my god. So, benefits of the Patreon. I wanna, now I'm to listen to Tick of the Clock and sit here and dick around. Link to these in the description. Wallpapers, as always, you creeps, are in the description. Patreon, upper right hand corner, if you'd like to be part of the people who could see this video before everyone else and get in on the low stock, and that is literally one of the main reasons, is like, I wonder if Zeos is going to like that, and Zeos comes out and says, this sounds better than fucking everything, and then they're gone. So at least you'll be part of a smaller group that's trying to make them gone. Also, the yard sales happen once a month. I, If I buy something, which what have I bought recently? All, all those Magnies I bought, bought a couple of these headphones, they're all going up for sale because I just don't need headphones lying around. So once a month I sell off six, 10 items, no minimum bid, and I ship. I pay for shipping continental United States. I'll even ship internationally if you agree to pay half the shipping. 
rules on that and there's a separate video somewhere explaining it. Uh, yeah. Fuck. You know what's good when Zeos is reduced to the four letter words. Fuck, shit, cunt, bitch. Well, that's five letters. But whatever. This is a special amp deck. $400, easy. Easy money. Easy. 